Welcome back to Super Mario 64. Now that I've actually taken care of my beeping stupid smoke detector, we are free to continue. There are two ways you can go about this. You can either head this way, into this little shed here, or you can actually go in there and fall down from the house. This is the quicker way. So hop on here, ride this elevator down. No matter how far you're falling from, if you do your butt stomp just before you hit the ground, you won't take any damage. I'm not sure if that was a glitch or what. But anyway. Here's Big Boo's merry go round. Same thing as before. Take care of five of these. You don't have to deal with the boo again. Except this time you have to do it here on merry-go-round. Not the easiest thing in the world to do. And that's the same thing as before. And once again we get a star. There's that little bit of sound there. Biatch. Seeker of the Haunted Books. All right, let's go. Find this on the second floor. I think it's actually in this door. Nope. It's the next one over then. Hit these in the right order. I forget which one of the center ones first. Yeah, it's center. Center one, right one, and then the left one. That opens this up. Door to go behind here. Go inside. Here's star number 34. A lot of these are pretty simple. Hey! Seek the eight red coins! This should be fun. Alrighty! Just go door by door, what do you say? First red coin behind the piano. Go in here. Might as well get the 100 coins while we're at it. Hey, man! That's right, I need to hop down here. Or hop up there. Can't even keep my directions straight anymore. Anyway, three red coins. Once again, keep your back to this. If you have the uh, invisibility cap, you can actually go through there and take care of the booze yourself. There's a lot of blue coins in this particular stage. A lot of blue coins. This actually has the most coins of any of the stages, if I'm not mistaken. If you get every single one, I think you have 151. Yeah, see, you can fall down here, and you can head back, back down to Boo's uh, merry-go-round. Which you might as well do anyway, because it's an extra 25 coins. If they even come out. Uh oh, oh, well, there you are. I wasn't sure if y'all would be coming out this time. The thing is, once you take care of the five down here, the other the big boo will come out again. 
we don't need to deal with it this time, so we'll just keep right on going. Okay. This will take us outside the castle. Dude. I'm not going to be able to get all 151 coins because I don't have the uh, invisibility cap, but I can at least get 100. No problem. Hi there. There's another five from you. I'm already up to 61, man. As I said around the last video or so, there are a number of coins that you can get outside the castle, and these that you can stomp and what have you. It's not really that. Hey! You fucker! Come back here. This depth perception thing is kind of a pain. You have a coin. There it is. Kinda of hard to tell where you are all the time, man. Baby. Okay, so we're gonna go around back. You can always go do this, or the invisibility cap. See, this is the back side of that room that I said to need the invisibility cap to go through that door. Yeah, that's what's on the other side of that. Okay, one more thing, so I don't forget. I have ten coins, man. Eighty-five coins already. We've only gotten three of the red coins. this bridge without falling. There's another five coins. Which means that this one... There's our hundred coins. Now we actually have enough stars to get up to the second floor of the castle. into the basement yet. All things considered, if you actually go um, course by course and just get all the stars as you go, by the time you get through the ninth course, you should have enough stars to finish the game. You only need 70. I've already been in here. Alright, what's in here? Feed at least and strapless. I don't know what that means, but it doesn't matter. Ow. Red coin number six. Red coin number seven. Excuse me. Alright. And blue coin from each one of these books. But you actually hit them. Anyway, yeah. Eighth red coin is right over here. What's that one? Oh, you son of a bitch. Get up there. Alrighty. Six stars, man. Okay, last one of these we can actually get before we have to come back with the invisibility cap. This is actually a pain in the ass to do. Big Boo's balcony. As you see, up there, there's a boo. 
to get to that boo. How do we do that? Well, you head up here, the second floor, the door all the way on the right. Let's get rid of these things. Okay, you'll notice that there's a little ledge here. So if you look up here, there's another ledge up there. There's a door up there. That's how we get in there. And do a wall kick off this wall. Go in here. Here's some more coins, by the way. You can actually get uh, another 20 coins here. These two here. These two here. So, we had 121 coins. We'd have 146 now. And we get the other five from... There's another eyeball right in there. Wait, no. We get something else from that. That's beside the point. Anyway, we get the other five from the book that we didn't get. Anyway, here's the boo. Same deal as before. Now getting up there is actually kind of a bitch. Because you actually have to go up here to this ledge. This is where things get a little tricky because you have to get up here to the roof. Which means you need a little bit more momentum. I'm a step away! Come on! How can that not be? up here is quite a task. There we go. Now the easiest way to do this is to press the R button so that the camera zooms in right behind Mario. That way you can actually tell where you are in relation to this ledge here. Okay. But you're even with it. All you gotta do is just slide right on down to it. Oh, more coins. No. Yeah. Something I didn't even want. Here we go! Alright, I can't come back here and do this till I get the invisibility cap. To do that, we gotta go down to the basement. To do that, we actually have to deal with Bowser for the first time. Because he has the key. So... doing so, we have to actually get the eight red coins in this particular place. Which we have to be able to do without getting fried by the flame breath here. A lot easier to do if you have, say, the uh, metal cap so you don't have to worry about getting burned. So instead of that, we'll just focus on getting you through the stage. We're coming up on 14 minutes for this video anyway. Getting through this stage is pretty easy. There aren't really very many tricky jumps until you try to get the red coins, but like I said, we'll come back to that. So I gotta get the, those other two caps anyway. But first, we gotta worry about getting in the basement. So we'll be revisiting this stage. Shiza. Visiting this stage when we're done. Whee! You son of a bitch. I wanna do it again! Let's go down the slide again, Mom! Yay! Pass! Jesus Christ! I just channel my inner AVGN there. Jesus. Alright. Now, up here. Up here. Not worried about the red coins. I'm just worried about getting through the stage. There we go. Hup. Hup. Whee. All right, here we 
we go. Try to take him by the tail and throw him one of those spike bombs on the edge of the platform. Come on, you son of a bitch. Like so. Hey! There's one right over there. Hey! Ow! Son of a... Mm. I told you. You're gonna go boom! Bitch! Once that's done... Later, he gives you your key. With the key, we can now go into the basement. And we will do that, and then we will stop this video. Okay, we've unlocked stages, of course, of six through nine. So, yeah. We're gonna have a little bit of fun. See y'all next time.